I feel like I'm missing something. But what could it be? Oh, sh- There's a reason why Penny has an association to Gumball. She's Pinetti strong. Aside from the bad puns, there's only really one thing that stands out with Penny, but it's quality over quantity anyways. Her being able to transform into any shape based solely off her emotions is a groundbreaking ability. But how does she actually change shape is something I'll answer later. First, this fireball, cause that was hype. So before anything, we'll have to define fire. As Google puts it, <laughs> Fire is the combustion or burning in which substances combine chemically with oxygen from the air and typically give out bright light, heat, and smoke, which is just a lot of words that I don't care to understand. What we really should care about is what the chemistry of a fire is. In this case, we'll assume the fire is a reaction with propane and organic molecule. The chemical reaction for this incident is shown here, where one mole of propane and five moles of oxygen combine to produce three carbon dioxides and four hydrogens. Now, we'll have to find the heat energy produced from a single mole of propane burning. We can find this by determining the bond energies of each of the reactants, adding the heat required to start the reaction, and from there subtract the bond energies of the products. We'll draw the structure for our reactants and determine the different types of bonds we have. From the diagram, we see that propane has 8 hydrogen to carbon bonds and 2 carbon to carbon bonds. O2 has a single double oxygen to oxygen bond. Next, we see we have one molecule of propane and five molecules of oxygen. We'll multiply our bond energies by these numbers since these are the amount of molecules that are reacting in a single reaction. Finally, we'll plug in the value for the bond energies to obtain an energy of 413 kilojoules for the carbon to hydrogen bonds, 347 kilojoules for the carbon to carbon bonds, and 495 kilojoules for the oxygen double bond. Next, we'll do the same thing but for our products. We'll draw how the molecules of carbon dioxide and dihydrogen monoxide look like. From the diagram, we see that CO2 has two carbon to oxygen double bonds and that dihydrogen monoxide has two oxygen to hydrogen bonds. Next, we'll multiply these values by the moles in the equation, so three and four respectively. Then we'll plug in our bond energies. This gives us 799 kilojoules and 465 kilojoules. Then we'll multiply out and add. After doing so, we can use the fact that when bonds are broken, energy is lost. So 6,473 kilojoules per mole are lost when the bonds are broken from the reactants. And using the fact that energy is released when bonds are formed, we find that 8,530 kilojoules per mole of energy is released. Thus, our net energy created becomes 2,050 kilojoules per mole of propane. Now, to find the energy of this blast, we first need to find out how many moles of propane were consumed. We can do this by finding out how long the flame is, then assuming it to be a cylindrical object. Find the radius of the cylinder, and then the volume of the hollow cylinder, which can be used to find the moles of propane gas. We can reference the time when the flame is the longest. Then, by looking at this tree, assuming it is an oak tree with a span of 30 meters, then using it to measure the length of the entire flame, we find a length of 450 meters for the full flame. This flame also travels at a velocity of 600 meters per second, which I thought I'd just put out there because why not? Then the radius of the flame is going to be 10 meters if we assume it to reach the height of the oak tree. We'll assume the thickness of the flame to be just 0.1 meters. Using these numbers in congruity with the formula for the volume of a cylinder, we have a volume of 0.1 squared times 450 pi meters. Multiplying out, we have that the volume of the cylinder is just 14.13 meters cube. Using this volume, we can find the mass of the propane excreted by noting that propane has a density of 493 kilograms per meter cubed. Multiplying 493 by 14.13 helps us find that the mass of protein expunged is 6,966.09 kilograms. The ratio of grams to moles for propane is 44 grams for every one mole. Then by using this ratio, as in we divide by 0 0.044 kilograms, we find that the fire uses around 158,320 moles of propane. We can scale the energy value we find for one mole of propane reacting by multiplying it by 158,320 moles of propane, and we see that the energy used in this fire is around 351,312,584 kilojoules of heat energy. Now that we're done with the cool stuff, we can come back to answering the question posed at the beginning. How does she change shape? Well, apart from being composed of a pliable substance, Penny's DNA itself is completely changeable. 
How exactly it changes is beyond me. But likely she can use a technique like CRISPR, where the little strands of the DNA themselves are altered to manipulate her genetic code. And since the way her DNA changes is directly linked to her emotions, it's possible she can get so angry she can destroy something of great magnitude.